Hey everybody, it's Jane from Norman S. Wright and NSW PEP. Today I'm going to talk about switchgear, what it does, why it's critical, and how it protects data centers. So let's get started. Large data centers manage massive amounts of electricity, and they do it safely with switchgear. Switchgear is like the traffic control center for power, directing electricity, preventing overloads, and keeping things running smoothly. Switchgear is made up of electrical disconnect switches, circuit breakers, and fuses that control and protect power systems. Let's make a little room. It's designed to detect faults, isolate problems, and ensure continuous operation, which is critical in places like hospitals, data centers, and industrial facilities where power failures are not an option. Let's move this up. Switchgear protects electrical systems. If a short circuit or overload happens, Switchgear acts fast to shut off power to the affected area, preventing damage. It also ensures reliable power. In data centers and large buildings, Switchgear can automatically switch between power sources, such as from the grid to backup generators, to keep the systems online. And it also manages power flow efficiently. It helps to distribute power at different voltage levels to meet the needs of various equipment. Let's move this over. You can break switchgear components into two general categories. Power conducting components. These conduct or interrupt the flow of electrical power. These would be your components like circuit breakers, fuses, and switches. And then there are control and protection components. These would be components such as control panels and transformers. And of course, there's some other components such as insulators, enclosures, and cable terminations that are needed to make it all work. Let's move this up. There are three main types of switchgear used in buildings and data centers. Low voltage switchgear, which is used for systems up to 1000 volts managing power within the facilities. Example of these would be circuit breakers and fuse panels. You're probably familiar with these in your home. There's also medium voltage switchgear. This handles 1000 to 35,000 volts, often controlling transformers and backup generators. You'll see these in data centers, hospitals, and other commercial industrial applications. And let me put LV here and MV here. And then you have high voltage switchgear, HV. These would be above 35,000 volts. These are found in utility substations to handle power transmission. You'll see these in power transmission networks and large scale industrial plants. Let's make room again and look at the different types of insulation. There's oil insulated switchgear. This uses mineral oil to insulate components and extinguish arcs during switching. This was a popular choice in older systems, but it is being phased out due to environmental concerns. Then you have gas insulated switchgear, GIS. This uses pressurized gas, usually sulfur hexafluoride, SF6, to insulate conductors and contacts. It's good for compact insulations like urban substations or data centers where space is limited. It's highly reliable and requires minimal maintenance. A major drawback of GIS is its potential greenhouse gas properties. It has a GWP of 24,300. So researchers are looking at alternative gases. Let's make some more room. Next you have air insulated switchgear, AIS. This uses air as the insulating medium, making it a cost effective and widely used option for outdoor substations, power plants, and industrial sites. While it requires more space than GIS, it is easier to maintain. Air is a natural and abundant resource, and it significantly reduces the environmental impact. And then we have vacuum insulated switchgear, VIS. This uses a vacuum environment to prevent arcing, making it highly reliable and compact. It offers superior electrical insulation properties and eliminates the possibility of gas leaks. And it reduces the need for gas handling procedures, which enhances the safety aspect of it. You'll see it in medium voltage applications like commercial buildings and manufacturing plants. Each type of insulation is chosen based on the space, cost, and environmental considerations. In a data center, switchgear is just the first step in power distribution. The power passes through the switchgear, then it moves on to static transfer switches, UPS systems, PDUs, and eventually to the IT racks. But without it, the entire system would be vulnerable to faults and failures. So let's bring all this back on screen. And I laid that out poorly, so let's take this one section and move it to the sides. So we can make everything a little bigger. Okay, so that is what switchgear is and what it does. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.